Okay, so yesterday we read it, isn't it? Identity is an expression that holds true for all values of its variables. For example, uh, a plus b all squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So you can put any values of a and b, it will hold true, isn't it? But uh, the equation, at the same time, the equation is an expression that holds true for certain values of its variable. For example, uh, here uh, in this one, if you look here, a plus b is squared. So whatever you put, yeah, you can put any numbers here, any real number, it will hold true. But here, if you say the value of a is three and the value of b is four, now will it hold true? Obviously no, isn't it? Because uh, three plus four gives seven, not five. It means here it holds true for certain value only. For example, three, two, or one, four, or zero, five, yeah? Uh, it may be one, more than one value. It may be uh, only one value also, or it may be more than one value. It doesn't matter, but it holds true for certain value only. While this identity holds true for any value of the variable. So that is the difference that we have discussed yesterday. Now the next one. Let me take this pointer. So yesterday we were discussing on this magical hexagonal tree, isn't it? Sir. Yeah. Sir, my attendance. Okay. After this presentation is over, we'll do it. Don't worry. Okay, sir. Uh, so here, if you just know to draw a hexagon and put the six trigonometric ratios in a correct order, then obviously uh, you can remember all those 20 formulas all at a time. By drawing the single one hexagon and placing the trigonometrical ratios in there correct position. So this is our hexagon. Here we will be writing your sign, then cosine, look here. Sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, second, cosecant. Have you understood all of you? Sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, second, cosecant. So in this way, you will be writing here. So now, if you go there in seven pattern, you can see here, sine squared A plus cos squared A is equal to one. <laughs> so this is the main formula that we can obtain from this magical hexagon. And then from this formula, you can derive two more formula, isn't it? If you take cos squared A to right hand side, then you get sine squared is equal to one minus cos squared A. At the same time, if you take sine squared a to the right hand side, then you get cos squared a is equal to one minus sine squared a. So is it clear? This is a squared relation, okay? Yes. And uh, just make sure that uh, the identity given is in squared form. You can't say sine a plus cos a is equal to one. Or you, you can't say there, sine to the power 4a plus cos to the power 4 is equal to 1. It doesn't hold true. In order to uh, make this identity true, it should be in a squared form. Just make it sure. So we call it a squared relation. Because it is in a squared form, we call it a squared relation. Have you understood all of you? Yes, sir. OK. So the next one, let's move on next one.
So can you tell me the next squared relation from this magical hexagon? Look here. Ten. Oh yeah, ten. Ten, ten squared is plus ten squared one. one. Yeah, plus one. Three plus one equals to six. Six squared. Good, very good. Look here. Ten squared a plus one is equal to six squared a. Previously we have said here. Look here. Sin squared a plus cos squared a is equal to one, isn't it? We move in this way. The seven pattern. Sin squared a plus cos squared a is equal to one. Here we have said tan squared a plus one is equal to sec squared a. And from here, if you take this tan squared a to right hand side, then you get uh, sec squared a minus tan squared a is equal to one, isn't it? At the same time, if you take this one to right hand side, then you get tan squared a is equal to sec squared a minus one. Is it clear, all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. So let's move on another squared relation. So can you tell me another one, this one? Yeah, tell me the relation. One plus cot equals to one plus cot by a equals to cos six by a. Good. Yeah, you have got it. So this is the relation. One plus cot squared a is equal to cos squared a. This is the relation. So you got it. One plus cot squared a is equal to cos squared a. And from here, uh, if you take cot squared a to right hand side, then you get cos squared a minus cot squared a is equal to one, isn't it? And at the same time, if you take this one to right hand side, then you get cot squared a is equal to cos squared a minus one. So uh, these are the nine squared relation that you need to remember. Is it clear, all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, let's recall it again. What was the first one? The first one was? Sin squared a plus cos squared a equals to one. Good. Exactly. Sin squared a, it's not sin, it's sine. Sin squared a plus cos squared a is equal to one. Yeah, very good. Cos squared. Yeah. And the second one from here? Tan squared a plus one equals to sec squared a. Sec squared a. Good. Tan squared a plus one is equal to sec squared a. Very good. And the last one is one plus cot squared a is equal to cot squared a plus cot a one plus. So, can we say one plus cot is equal to cos a? No, sorry, square remaining cot squared. Good. So, in order to make this relation true, we have to say one plus cot squared a is equal to cos squared a, not uh, cubed before here. Yeah? Five, we cannot go there. It should be in a squared form. Just make it zero. Okay. So now let's move an inverse relation. And regarding this inverse relation here, uh, both the ratios should have same power. That is the main thing. If it is a squared there, then the another one should be squared. If the first one is cubed, then another one should be cubed. So in this way, if both the ratios have same power, then these inverse relations hold true. And how to go uh, through inverse relation? So let's have a look. Okay, look here. So here we move on diagonally, isn't it? If you move on diagonally, then you get is this inverse relation. Sin A is equal to one by cos A, isn't it? Sin A is equal to one by cos A. And from here, if you cross multiply it, then you get sin A multiply cos A is equal to one. And if you 
uh, interchange this position here. If you take this cos A here and sin A here, then you get uh, cos A is equal to one by sin A. Or you can say that we have taken this sin A here from this relation. So this is inverse first inverse relation. That is sin A is equal to one by cos A. So previously in a squared relation, we have moved by seven pattern here in this inverse relation, we will be moving in diagonal pattern along its diagonal. If we move along its diagonal, then we get inverse relation. So can you guess what should be the next one? 10, 10, 10 a, a equals 10 to a 1 by cot a. a. Good, yeah, very a. good. Yeah. 10 is equal to 1 by cot a. And the last one? Six a, Six a, a to equals to 1 by cos a. Good, very good. So this is what uh, we do to find inverse relation. Yeah. yeah. So you can see it here. Cos A is equal to one by sec A, or you can say cos sec A is equal to one by cos A also. Okay, so you can move your both ways. But regarding that e squared relation, you can move through this uh, this way only, one this the seven pattern. We cannot go on reverse way. So this is inverse relation. So in this way, uh, here uh, you have got nine inverse relation, isn't it? So is it clear yes. of you? Okay. Yes, sir. So now it will be easier to memorize this formula, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Yes. So now the last one, let's move on quotient relation. So regarding this quotient relation, here we move along its sides and it, may be, it can be clockwise also or it can be anti-clockwise also. Just we have to move along its sides. So look here. So if you move in this way, look here, tan A is equal to tan A is equal to sin A divided by cos A. Cos A. Tan A is equal to sin A divided by cos A. Is it clear all of you? Yes, sir. Um, or you can say uh, in this way also, cot A is equal to cos A by sin A. So these two are quotient relations. You can come in this way also. <laughs> so in this way uh, till now uh, you have got the trick to remember 20 trigonometric ratios so now just can you use this hexagon to remember those 20 trigonometric identities yes okay. sir okay so This is the magical hexagon trick. 